Knowing the shadow is probably the biggest breakthrough that's ever happened in the world of self-help and transformation. By knowing how much of your life is being written by a story that is a fixed story that shows in your nervous system, represented in your hands and your fingerprints, you're able to unlock a genetic disposition of or a negative opinion or a negative belief that you have about life. And if you can transform that, you can transform your entire existence. One of the things is we all have shadows. We all have things that we're struggling with. We all have ways that we're triggered. But by opening yourself to all the pieces of the puzzle, not just taking a course, not just having an insight, but I'm talking the entire life pattern and all of the shadow allows you to see, okay, this is my life and my God, if I continue doing this, it's just going to age me. So the benefit of knowing the shadow is it, is it allows you to have not just self-help or positive thinking, but a full grip on your life, all of it. And through that, that allows you to connect compassionately to the things that previously were negative in your life. Previously that you struggled with anger, that you were depressed about, you connect with compassion. And through that compassion, you get to be human. Jung said that it's better, I would rather be whole than good. Here, we're looking at the, your right to be a human being on this planet and see all the things that you struggle with and all the things that you resist and you love it. And when you love all of that, then that gives you your power back. It gives you your creativity back. Everything else that you don't love, that's your power that's lost. It's suppressed. And you know, the shadow isn't just, I'm suppressing that which is unacceptable that's negative. There's a lot of people that suppress things that are incredibly positive in their life. I'm talking their greatness because they got into a marriage they can't get out of and they suppress their creativity, their sexuality, their music, their passions. And they gave those dreams up because kids, because of their role of uh, they're working at the bank. All of these things were uh, things that they identified that was almost ready to happen. Because if you look at the hand, you almost see that they're about to be in that trap. They're just a, a trap waiting to happen. They're a money issue waiting to happen. They're a drama of feeling boxed into a relationship where they don't have any emotion anymore. And they're just going on repetitive days. When you can open and acknowledge that, and not have any other agenda, but you see the whole map in the hand and I can show you it. I can show you all the people that have that same trap in history, the celebrities and remarkable people and how they broke through that trap. How did Malcolm X come from a place where his, had, his house was burned down to a, a revolutionary? How did Einstein get ignored and then how he broke through that to become an inspirational voice? How did uh, John F. Kennedy manage his problems with inspiration and being getting his voice out? You know, everyone has a, a thorough shadow in their life that they must break through. But the amazing part that the Institute of Hand Analysis has discovered is that this shadow and this breakthrough is all in the fingerprints. And by looking at all these famous examples, you can see they had to run right into that shadow and they broke through it. And how they broke through it is fantastic because it allows us to see a passage of how, you, how these people develop fulfillment in their life, where their heart was open. And I guarantee you listen to their stories, they were struggling, they were boxed in. Oprah Winfrey was fired from the television station and now she's a voice of a generation. How did she get from A to B? She had to face her shadow with compassion. So understanding your shadow is understanding your path through a life. This is your one life. And this is your life that you get to enjoy. And most people, if you really go dig down deep, are suffering through their life 80% of the time and saying, well, at least I have the weekend. 
at least I have Saturday night. And then the rest of the time they're in a marriage they can't get out of, or in a job they're trapped in. So understanding the trap and loving the trap and accepting the trap and then owning it, owning your power puts you no longer in a victim role into a place of creativity, love, inspiration.